There are a lot more publishers of comic books than just the big dogs of Marvel and DC. Let's not forget about Valiant Comics, originators of badass heroes with silly names like Mana War, Ninjak, The Eternal Warrior, and Bloodshot. While Marvel and DC have done a very good job of launching their properties from the page to the big screen, Hollywood has been slow to grant a Valiant character their own feature film. That's all about to change because a Bloodshot movie is on the way. Created by Kevin Van Hook, Don Perlin, and Bob Layton in 1992, Bloodshot, a seemingly unkillable and invincible scientifically restructured super trooper, has sold more than 7 million comics since his debut. There's clearly an audience for a Bloodshot movie, and Sony has finally decided to make it happen. Here's everything you need to know about the film, which is sure to be action-packed, over-the-top, and drenched in buckets of blood. Come on, it's in the name! Years ago, the only time filmgoers got a chance to see big, expensive, dazzling, and action-packed movies at the Cineplex was the summer. The hottest months of the year were reserved for summer blockbusters, huge and extravagant feasts for the senses starring Hollywood's most popular actors. Appetites for these movies proved so high that studios started releasing them well before summer. And now in the dead of winter. Two of the most recent and biggest ever comic book-based films hit movie theaters in mid-February, Deadpool and Black Panther. Huh, it's almost like Marvel has cornered the comic book movie market and its competitors should just give up or something. Ugh. Are you done? Are, 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 you, are you done? Kidding, kidding. Sort of. Anyway, movie fans need some alternatives to the other stuff that dominates movie theaters in the early months of the year. And 2020 will continue this trend. Bloodshot was initially scheduled to be released over the weekend of February 21st, 2020. Sony confirmed the date with the film's first trailer, which hit the internet in October 2019. In December, however, the studio announced that Bloodshot had been pushed back just a few weeks to March 13th. Obviously, one-man action squad Vin Diesel is the biggest name attached to the upcoming film adaptation of the Bloodshot comics. Heading up the cast is Ray Garrison, deceased marine-turned-reborn overpowered soldier supreme. How? Nanomachine son? That's how! Nanomachine son! Guy Pierce, best known for his role in memory-oriented thriller Memento, is playing Dr. Emile Harding. A think-outside-the-box mad scientist leading the experiments on Garrison. Sam Hewen, the breakout star of Star's time-travel period piece Outlander, is said to be playing Jimmy Dalton, a Navy SEAL and super soldier in his own right. Aza Gonzalez, perhaps best known for playing Darling in Baby Driver, stars as the mysterious Ms. KT, a member of the inner circle of a strange underground organization. She's joined by longtime New Girl star Lamorne Morris, who fills the comic relief role of Wilfred Wiggins. That is absolutely fantastic. Judging by the first trailer, there looks to be a lot going on in the film version of Bloodshot. Vin Diesel is introduced as a humble Marine named Ray, and all seems to be going well as he reunites with his beloved wife Gina in a lovely seaside town, only to wake up in a cold and dark research facility connected to a bunch of machines, Matrix-style. Ray learns from resident scientist Dr. Emile Harding that he actually died, as did Gina. But he's now under the watchful eye of RST, a corporation that rebuilds U.S. military assets. A shadowy corporation with access to cutting-edge science trying to create super soldiers, huh? We're sure they won't have any, you know, ulterior motives or anything. They've been manipulating you. Oh, uh, yeah, scratch that. Turns out that Ray is the first successful result of an ongoing program to remake and enhance soldiers into living weapons. Harding and his associates have injected into Ray's blood some out there technology that makes him virtually indestructible, extra strong and able to heal from basically any injury within seconds. With these powers in mind, Ray sets out to take care of unfinished business and get vengeance on the man who killed his wife. To make a long story short, Bloodshot is a lot like Deadpool. You know, it has always been a dream of mine to see my face reflected in your helmet as you charge at me with murderous intent. Only super, super serious and without any breaking through the fourth wall. There's also an added psychological complication, as RST just might be manipulating Ray into pursuing its interests, not his own. In other words, his memories may not be what he thinks they are. 
Behind the scenes, Bloodshot boasts a creative team with a wealth of entertainment experience. Studios generally don't hand the reins of a big-budget extravaganza to brand-new directors, but that's exactly what's happening with Dave Wilson. It's his first feature-length project building upon an episode of the sci-fi anthology Love, Death, and Robots, and a long career directing trailers for major video game releases, including The Elder Scrolls Online, Mass Effect 2, and Star Wars The Old Republic Knights of the Fallen Empire. Bloodshot's credits list two screenwriters, Jeff Wadlow and Eric Heiserer. Wadlow wrote a couple of episodes of Bates Motel before penning the scripts for comics adaptation Kick-Ass 2, the spy farce True Memoirs of an International Assassin, and the scary Truth or Dare. Heiserer got his start in horror, writing the A Nightmare on Elm Street remake before working on the scripts for innovative sci-fi hits like Arrival and Bird Box. In today's movie world, it's all about comic books, superheroes, and cinematic universes. Disney has its Marvel Cinematic Universe, and Warner Brothers has DC. Now Sony may be in the early stages of getting a Valiant-based world of interconnected characters off the ground, using Bloodshot as its Iron Man-esque first chapter. According to a Hollywood Reporter news item from 2015, Sony had plans to make five Valiant adaptations, two Bloodshot movies plus two based on Harbinger, a comic about a superhero collective on the lam from a shady organization. After that, the properties would receive their own Justice League or Avengers-style capper with a crossover called Harbinger Wars. Additionally, in 2018, Sony hired American Gods adaptation writer Maria Melnick for a screenplay about the slightly meta-valiant character Faith Herbert, aka Zephyr, a comics aficionado who becomes a hero herself when her telekinetic powers surface. It's hard to say if this plan is still in the cards, and a lot rests on Bloodshot being a success. Harbinger moved from Sony to Paramount in September 2019, which could delay the development of this particular cinematic universe. Only time and Bloodshot's box office results will tell. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.